welcome to the ArcLight Sprint demo. I'm um, going to be demoing a few uh, changes uh, implemented in the UI in the past uh, sprint. So uh, this is a uh, example of kind of a show page uh, for a collection in ArcLight previously. And so some of the designs that uh, the design team have uh, uh, created, we've uh, now implemented into ArcLight. So you can see the change here. So we've gone from kind of a, a sidebar uh, here on the left-hand side uh, to a full column layout here. Uh, we still have this uh, scroll spy thing where we can, you know, jump between the different content. And we've uh, moved things into different tabs. So here we can see contents, online content, and access. So access uh, was previously kind of in the sidebar, and now I kind of see it all uh, together here. Um, one thing to note is also special attention has gone into uh, support this on mobile. So we can see how these tabs actually stack up very nicely and work together in conjunction with the scrolling stuff uh, nicely on mobile. So. Um, some additional work uh, that's happened this week is um, you notice that if uh, you know if we are going to be searching for something, let's say I search for paper here, um, I may get a whole lot of different results here. So in this case, um, I have 1,200 results for paper, um, and um, a new feature that's been implemented is the ability to group by collection. So by grouping by collection now, I get the top three results for each collection returned to me. I get a little kind of a blurb about the collection, um, and I can link to those top three results. Uh, but I can also view all the results for a given collection here. So I've chosen the Edward Feigenbaum papers, and now I can just see all the results for paper there. So um, uh, this, um, you know, one thing to also note here is where we had 1,200 results before now, we have 38. And 38 really denotes the number of um, collections that are being returned uh, back to us. So some additional work. Uh, so last sprint, uh, we kind of extended the repositories config to enable uh, different types of requests. And so that's been um, fixed up even more this week to um, handle when no uh, requests are configured. Um, and uh, some additional work has gone into um, uh, enhancing or fixing bugs that we've noticed around uh, how content's also indexed. So it's kind of hard to demo that, but uh, we're able the indexing is a little bit more resilient, and we're able to um, index uh, content in better ways. So with that, I'm going to turn it over to our next. Um, Okay, so I just wanted to talk briefly about some analysis work that uh, we've been doing. So uh, one of the key priorities for this work cycle was also to do some assessment of how relevance is currently set up in our fight. So um, we've been sort of treating this as um, an epic ticket that we know would spin out more, more in additional uh, work uh, with greater specificity. So over the last couple of weeks, um, uh, Leanne um, has done some analysis on this about what's currently set up. Um, and we got some feedback from Bill last week. Uh, and what this has led to is a breakout of a bunch of additional tickets, um, which are all linked here from this ticket 532. So uh, this includes more specific things like um, adjusting uh, the boost on titles for components and collections, um, uh, analyzing stemming behavior, uh, better supporting known and searching for collections, and then looking at relevance in the context of, uh, uh, of the behavior for groups, uh, group results. Uh, we also did some ad additional analysis um, uh, based on a discussion that we had in our product owner call 
uh, about realizing that we needed more information about how to determine when uh, a, a material should be requestable from a system like Aon. Uh, lots of uh, institutions have different rules and more often than not, those rules may apply to only a specific repository within that institution. So this ticket starts to specify some of that, some of that behavior here. Um, and we've done some work to, in particular to look at uh, Atlas's Aon plugin for archive space that allows you to determine that in terms of configuration. Um, we've asked our colleagues from University of Michigan to give some specific feedback here uh, because their repositories in particular are a case where we, we know there would be some variance on what's re requestable. So I think that's it for this week. So thanks and stay tuned uh, for our demo next week.